Hi everyone. One of the most common Power Automate triggers is the when a new email arrives trigger. A common practice when configuring this trigger is to set the folder to inbox and then at the end of the flow, have an action that files the email away. But I wanna show you a better method that I recently discovered. The first thing that we need to do is to set up a new folder in Outlook and create a subfolder that is specific to this flow. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna open Outlook 365. We're gonna hop over here and here is our inbox. And we can go ahead and right click on our inbox and do create new subfolder. And we'll call this subflow folder PA flows. You can call it whatever you want. Um, this is just what I'm calling it. Now under that, subfolder, we're going to create another subfolder, a subfolder for our subfolder. For the best practice, I recommend naming your subfolder the same name as your flow. So for this example, I have a new flow that I'm creating using this trigger, and it's called email trigger test. So what I'm going to do is right click on my subfolder PA flows and create a new subflow folder, and we're gonna call it All right, now we have our subfolder PA flows, and we've got our sub subfolder email trigger test. This will help you make a connection between the folder and the flow, which is especially important when working in a shared inbox, like in this example. So now our next step, is to create an Outlook rule, which will move the Power Automate trigger email into your new subfolder. So we go over to settings, view all Outlook settings, rules, and add a new rule. Now, another best practice in this case is just to name your rule the same name as your Power Automate flow, and the same, which is the same name as your subfolder. So email trigger test. And the condition, set the condition as you need to um, per your workflow. So in this case, my condition is just going to be um, a particular subject. That subject is going to be email trigger test. And then whatever other conditions you need to include. And then the action is going to be to move that email into the folder that we just created. So we'll go to move to different folder and we'll, excuse me, and we'll locate Power Automate flows and email trigger test. So now it's gonna move that right in there. We can go ahead and save that. So now everything in Outlook is set up. So let's hop over to Power Automate. So, here, we're going to choose our shared inbox. Once we've done that, we're going to select our subfolder. So we go over here, subfolder is under inbox, and then I'm looking for PA flows and the folder that we just created, email trigger test. And then we can continue by filling in the advanced fields as well. So this method leaves less chance for errors and keeps your inbox clean from the trigger emails while your flows are running. Thanks everyone for watching. I hope this video was helpful and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Take care everyone. Bye-bye.